like you're the. That was weird. There it is. Welcome to Awaken My Life video living here in Banff, Canada. This one is a really special edition because this is going to be our last week living here in the Canadian Rockies. We've been living in Banff for the last two and a half years and if you're new to my channel there is so much content on resources, things to know and a little snippet into what it's like to do a working holiday in a Canadian ski town, experience it for summer and everything you need so go check that out in a week we are heading down to central america for a couple months to do some travel down there then we're going to the u.s to do a summer working and then off to japan to do another ski season now it's going to be a really really fun next few months but for this week i'm going to take you along everything we do to wrap up our lives here and to finish off this chapter later today we're heading out to jasper with some friends it is absolutely beautiful early spring weather right now so hopefully this stays with us and then we are going to be coming back to Banff on Wednesday doing some last drinks with friends and then heading off to the airport a couple days later so come along with us it's going to be a really really fun week and I hope this will give you a little insight into what it's like to live in a town like this so we just started our day with coffee at Y Bar now we're heading into town and we're just going to make the most of the beautiful sunshine. I think we might go get a drink on a patio. It's early spring so they're all starting to open which is so nice. Best part of summer but yeah we'll see. It's now 8 p.m. We're finally on our way to Jasper. It was a pretty late getaway. We have about a three and a half hour drive ahead of us. We've already seen heaps of animals, so hopefully we'll spot some things on the pathway. We've got the next three nights at the Jasper Fairmont. It will be amazing. We're just gonna head there for the rest of the day and I'll check in with you tomorrow though. morning guys so it's the next morning now it is tuesday we made it into jasper around midnight last night i think um the girls went out to get pizza because we got in so late everything was closed um we probably got to bed like 1 2 a.m um but everything is so beautiful when we got here last night there was elk everywhere and elk are so big it's intimidating luckily they weren't in front of our property um but there's a whole bunch of deer outside ours right now which is so cool um it's been a really slow morning though we just got breakfast in one of the restaurants at the Vermont. um it's like 
the blue sky is coming out a little bit but me and my friend Carrie are about to go for a walk now we're just taking a super chill today we're gonna go explore the property a bit um yeah we really don't have any plans but it's really nice it's really nice to relax now we've basically just spent the afternoon wandering around the property the Fairmont Jasper is kind of just a series of like bungalows and cabins it's not your standard hotel it is so so gorgeous it's really giving me like summer camp for adult vibes there's little like pontoons on the water which is what we're on right now we've just brought a drink down we're just enjoying it the sun is coming and going but it is such a beautiful day and such a beautiful property I love that we have nowhere we have to be I just popped back to the room and filmed a quick um, like update for YouTube, like a why I'm leaving video. So that one should be out before this. So if you want to go check it out, it's a full description of why this is our last week in BAM. It is the most beautiful day. I'm feeling super grateful that we're just, we're here and we have these views and I'm really, really gonna miss the mountains so much. Um, but yeah. That will be back with me in just a hot minute and then i think we are heading into town tonight for dinner so it's been a great first day in jasper now Tuesday it is the next day um, we came into town we just had lunch slash breakfast at Coco's cafe I think we're gonna head out to Moline Lake now I just spent a bit of time doing some work launching my blog uh, while my friends did some shopping around town but we're gonna go out and hopefully find some wildlife we'll see it's a moose that was a moose Yes, no, a hundred percent. It's down here. Where is it? There it is! Oh, I see it. Yep. Ah! It's looking at us. How fast can we reach one? Uh, pretty fast. Oh my goodness. There's a moose. There's a moose. morning now it is officially Wednesday we have to make our way back to Banff today it snowed a little bit last night in Jasper but I hear it's been snowing way more in Banff so we'll see when we get back today 
Um, we had a really fun night last night. We ended up having dinner at the Jasper Park Lodge. One of my friends that I met through Instagram and online and everything, he came and met us. A lot of wine was consumed, but it was so much fun. We have the four hour drive ahead of us though now. So it's now Thursday morning. It is officially our second last day in Banff. We only have one more sleep in our room. So today is going to be a super jam-packed day trying to like wrap up all our last little loose ends and get everything ready. We have like Canadian cash to convert to US. We're looking after our friend's dog today because she's working full time and she just got a brand new puppy. But she's also very kindly letting us borrow her car because we sold ours last week. But this is currently the state of our room. It is. A disaster. We tried to sell as much as we could before um, we chose to donate everything, but we're at the point now we're just ready to clear out the last of everything we have. So we're just going to donate a lot of it to the thrift store in Canmore. And then we are having some farewell drinks with our friends tonight. <laughs> done all the errands we need to do in town so far we have come to three bears for a really quick stop for lunch and then we're gonna go home and finish the rest of our packing but our bank accounts are sorted our money's converted we went to little lemon to wrap up something i needed to do there and it's such a beautiful day so we had to stop for a quick beer on the patio We're coming back to Canmore um, to pick up our friend who's, you know, puppy this is and whose car we are borrowing for the day. We just dropped a whole bunch of stuff off at the community thrift store. But then, yeah, after we stopped in town, we went to our lease office to get off of our lease. Um, had to do all that life admin, organize some stuff for Panama, some like buses around and etc. And we did also sort out all the travel insurance this morning. Now, I was said I was going to tell you about that a little bit more. And I will because it is a really, really unique approach to travel insurance that they have going on. So we chose to go through Safety Wing. Now, I first heard of this company about a year ago, and it's super cool because it is designed to be insurance for nomads, for people who are traveling and they don't necessarily know how long they're going to be, where they're going you know, what they're doing. It's a really, really flexible policy and it's kind of a subscription based. No, it's not kind of, it is a subscription based. You can pay in full for a trip if you know your end dates, but the way we're doing it and the way so many people do do it is that you sign up and you pay every four weeks. It's a super, super cool option. You can cancel at any time. Um, and I think it's a really great way 
to have a policy, you can also start it outside of your home country, which is a big issue when it comes to a lot of travel insurance. So if you're interested or you have a trip coming up soon, definitely check that out. I'm going to pop a link in my bio for you guys. I think it is a really, really great alternative and it's really kind of meeting the demand for people who are living different lifestyles these days and trips are not just a once a year thing anymore. So that's great. now my friend who I told you about came all the way out from Invermere um, and we are just heading out to the St. James Gate they have Irish night there every Thursday um, where Brentley he's a local he plays it's really fun hopefully it'll be a good night <laughs>
this will be the last day in the week of my life vlog it is a very exciting day and a sad day and exciting it's good it's 5 a.m we're waiting for our uber and then we have a half an hour ride to the airport then we're gonna be on our way today and not tomorrow there's no Time to borrow today Well something's gotta give today It's a good day today And not tomorrow There's no time to borrow today Well something's gotta give i